All right, guys, when talking about contracts, this is a very, very, very important subject. And I think many of you probably already know that having been in business for a while. There's two things to know about it. One is you always need very strong contracts, very clear contracts, even if it's your best friend. Let me preface, especially if it's your best friend, because when you have a serious relationship that you don't want to lose, and all this money and all these big decisions and all these different twists and turns and different directions you could take come around, you're gonna want to know who's in charge, what's everybody's responsibilities, is everybody keeping up on those responsibilities? Because often when you start a business, especially with a friend, it's very easy to just say, man, we're gonna do this and this is gonna be so fun and we're just gonna have a great time. Then you realize business is really hard sometimes and you have to make sacrifices and you have to, you know, change and pivot and recognize that things don't always go the way you plan. So what happens is often one person will shine through and kind of become the person that really ends up doing pretty much everything because the other one either gets stressed out or disinterested and they kind of just go on autopilot. And then there's this whole weird discussion that you got to have about, hey, um, <laughs> you're not working and this is our company. And if you own half of it, you should be putting in big amount of effort. If you already have contracts that spell out your roles and your responsibilities, you never need to have that contract because or that conversation because you can actually have weekly meetings where you say, hey, let's have key indicators that help us to actually mark our efforts and let us know how we're doing. Because then if somebody's not pulling their weight, it's very obvious that they're not keeping to the contract and there should be penalties you know, associated with that, some sort of consequence. So when you're making your contracts, especially at the beginning, it makes everybody happier, everybody feel better, and everybody trusts each other more when you have a very specific, very thought out contract between you and your business partners and even people you're going to do business with. Because when you have a very specific expectation and written out description of everything that's going to go down, it helps them to know that you're serious what your expectations are, and you're more likely to get what you want and for everybody to be happy about it. Now, the other thing about contracts is that in business, often contracts don't mean anything. Take it with a grain of salt, but in America, you guys might have already seen this, we've kind of lost a little bit of this, you know, your word meaning something. And so there are so many times that I and so many of my friends have been in business, they have a contract, and they have people who are totally disregarding the contract, dropping it, ghosting them, not talking to them. It's a very bad thing in our culture that we need to work on, but it is something that if you are new to business, you might not be ready for, or you might not have an expectation of that. So even though you're doing contracts, make sure you're working with people that you go, I trust them. I believe that they'll follow through. They have a history of following through. There's someone I want to do business with. Now, if you guys need help with contracts, we're going to begin to add contracts to our docs on here. You guys are welcome to use any of them. They'll always be free to download. We're going to have ones on, you know, different kinds of sales, different kinds of uh, finders fees and contracts. We usually put in a lot of contracts around getting paid because that's normally what you guys are going to be doing with each other in a network where you guys are helping each other find business and find contacts. There's going to be a lot of things for finders fees, etc. So. As you're doing your contracts, make sure that you don't just use AI. <laughs> make sure you actually have a lawyer go through and redline it and check it out for you. Make sure you're reading through your contracts and making sure that it's really something you want to be in. I know too many entrepreneurs that have signed a lease or a contract that became their worst nightmare and they wish that they would have known earlier. So feel free to check with your mentors, other people in the group, but contracts are very important and they are a great expectation, but don't always trust that they're gonna go through.